tens of thousands of football fans they're going to descend on Atlanta for this big game and law enforcement agencies they are pre preparing to keep you safe as we speak. Yet today they came together again closed door meetings to discuss security for the Super Bowl. Our Glenn Marshall was led joins us live from the stadium and Glenn police had their hands full. You got into that meeting. What did you learn? Well, I can tell you, when you think about this, it's not just the Mercedes-Benz Stadium that they have to worry about keeping secured. It's actually all of Metro Atlanta. Well, today in that closed-door meeting, they talked about worst-case scenarios that could possibly happen, and they want to make sure that they can keep you safe during the Super Bowl. And at this point, we're ready to just execute on our game plan. A game plan talked about amongst law enforcement agencies. APD Police Chief Erica Shields joined the NFL's host committee going through emergency situations that could impact Super Bowl 53. We're going to run through eight scenarios uh, from simple protests up to what would happen if we had a mass casualty event here in the city. Uh, and we're going to show how the agencies come together, multi-agency collaboration, and how we work through those possible scenarios. From the area surrounding Mercedes-Benz Stadium to Centennial Olympic Park's events, Atlanta's Super Bowl festivities will be under watch by agencies around this table. Host committee member Amy Patterson says recent attacks will help shape security. Las Vegas shooting. The bombing of the Olympics. The 1996 bombing happened half a mile away from the stadium. Patterson said securing the surrounding area will be pivotal for safety. We um, looked at um, you know the businesses around the park and the buildings around the park, and we've had security meetings with them about being aware who is coming in and out of your hotel. And at the end of the day, law enforcement agencies want you to enjoy everything evolving around the Super Bowl game. While doing so, they want you to stay vigilant. If you see something, just let us know. Call 911, call the police department, call the FBI, call anyone in law enforcement that you can reach out to. And even after today's meeting, they plan to go back and work on those safety plans to make sure that you're safe when you show up to the big game. Live here in Atlanta, I'm Glenn Marshall, CBS 46 News.